Hey guys, Tony here. So today I'm going to give you guys a very behind the scenes sneak preview of something coming new from Wakira. It's very exciting. Uh, I don't work for Wakira, but I do work for Exhaly Nitro Planes and sometimes we do get very cool products that is very, very interesting like this one. So I played around with it at work, got a little bit used to it, and I brought it home to shoot a video for you guys. So I have it blurred out so you guys can't really see it at the moment, but I'm keeping you guys waiting too long. Trying to keep this video short and, you know, short and quick as possible because I don't have too much detail on it. It is something new that Wakira is working with, so hopefully they didn't, so hopefully, tongue tied, hopefully they don't get mad at me for uh, posting this uh, very uh, secretive product. Because I looked on Google, I looked on Wakira's website, I even looked on RC groups and that there is no info on this new Holton X. Now, this one has been out for a while. But what's new is the little black box down here. You get a little camera box. Now that's actually not new either. But you can see the cables coming through. And what do you guys see here? Extra cables. A little antenna. What is this? So let me pop open the canopy over here. You guys can see this cool little receiver back here. Let me hide the very bottom part of that receiver. You can see Devo F7 blur back out and focus on the whole 10 X so you can see very very neat you get this antenna which goes to a if you guys haven't guessed it yet it's a video transmitter which is very cool it transmits the video coming from this camera onto an LCD screen which is somewhere else not attached to the quad you get little dip switch settings I guess to adjust frequencies or diff different channels not frequencies different channels on the frequency so if you're flying on a uh, you know a channel that has too much interference you just kind of bump some switches and make adjustments now I don't really have a manual because like all Wakira manuals they don't really give us man or like all Wakira samples I'm sorry they don't give us any manuals so it's kind of hard to work with sometimes because you're left in the dark trying to guess what anything does or what each little feature does but uh, battery's plugged in, so let me try to keep this video short once again because I love talking and a lot of you guys probably get tired of hearing me talk too much. But, you know, I get too excited sometimes and I keep on saying the same stuff, repeating myself and getting carried away like I am now. So, putting on the Holton X, let's go to the Devo 7, or not Devo 7, F7. You can see, get a little closer look. It's just like the Devo 7, you have 7 channels, you got a little LED back here so when you turn it on, when it's bind, bounded to the, the model itself, it turns red, you get a nice built-in antenna, kind of reminds me of the DX18 from Spectrum, or DX8, DX18, one of them, DX10, I don't know, one of the Spectrum uh, transmitter that's built in. No more, you know, funky antenna going out and kind of crooked and stuff like that, but you can see here, Got the screen, got a cool little uh, LED ring around the, the buttons. The center button doesn't actually work, which unfortunately doesn't work. But you can see, you can go in here, adjust all the features. It's not touch screen, so that's a bad thing. Or not really a bad thing, it's not touch screen, but everything's on the screen itself. Very easy to use, up, down, left, right, enter, exit. Uh, so, you know, nothing too fancy. You can see up here, it's a timer. Flip a little switch, the timer starts. Flick it back up timers off you can change it around with whatever you want get a memory card uh, voltage reading of the battery for the transmitter itself the, tra the remote control and you also have these little settings down here so I don't want to give too much throttle because I don't have the quad start on but you can see here on the very left you can see the more throttle you give the, m the higher number it is when you give trim it kind of changes you can see each click is for uh, four points so, nothing too fancy. If Walker is actually watching this, uh, just a few suggestions and improvements that I would like to see you guys improve on is uh, maybe add some kind of navigation right here. What do you guys think? Would you guys like to see Walker add some kind of compass? Because when you're flying the the model, it's hard to say. It's hard to tell which way it's facing. Are you facing east, west, north, south? Are you facing away from you? Or or even if the the model is kind of tilting, you know, left and right, forward and back. If there was a little screen on here or like a little monitor that tells you if your quad is tilted, that would actually be a lot better because it's kind of hard sometimes to see which way you're going, how high you're going, 
and how fast you're going. So if I click add the GPS uh, setting on here or module on here, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will not mind buying or paying the extra money for a GPS module if they can implement, implement it onto the model and the transmitter itself. So some good things about the transmitter and the setup you get a little sunscreen so when you're flying outside it blocks the sun blo blocks the glare you can see everything on the screen itself which is very cool uh, easy to very very easy to use uh, same setup as the original Hotan X so nothing new about it same motors same propellers same camera now the bad thing nothing to, nothing too many not too many good things about it but the bad thing is on there is it needs some kind of navigation once again like a compass and a little altitude or barometer to see which you know which way the, the model is actually going even seeing a voltage reading on here would be actually very nice to see the battery reading so on the model so when you're flying it you know you don't fly to the battery drops and it just falls out the sky oh before I even shoot more you can see I'm just having around you can see I'm watching a baseball game you can see my room you can see uh, me over here shooting you can see my uh, camera or whatever it's kind of hard to move the quad, hold the transmitter, and look at the camera at the same time. But you can see, you know, camera works very good. Uh, another bad thing is range. Range is only about f about 100 to 200 feet, depending on where you're at. So it's kind of disappointing. Hopefully, Walker can make this better. There's only a sample that, you know, they sent to XLE, so Walker can make this a little bit better. Better better antennas, maybe. Change the antenna. I'm not sure if this is 1.3, 2.4, or 5.8, but if Walker can use a better antenna, and a better antenna for the telemetry that would be a, a lot better for the video quality because I'm pretty sure a lot of guys want to fly at least half a mile out if they if possible so I'm running out of space and time on my uh, camera so I have to keep this short just a quick uh, look to show you guys what's new what's you know coming from Wakira it's actually very very exciting so if the video stops anytime soon that's pretty much it but I'm gonna try to talk a little bit more because I love talking once again guys it's very exciting uh, one thing, the Holton does not come with the 8FG transmitter back, as you guys see back here. I just have a box because I have a whole bunch of mess behind this uh, box over here. So I just have my uh, Futaba radio laying back there. I just picked it up, so kind of waiting, kind of exciting to, to try out FPV with my other uh, quads that I have, that actually that I'm working on, because I heard Futaba is very good at doing the FPV setup better than uh, Spectrum and you know, JR, so that's why I picked up this uh, Futaba 8FG for a very, very good deal with a free receiver. But back to the topic, very, very cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I prob I will be posting for sure another video of this Holton flying and also showing you guys a little, you know, footage which is coming from the screen and whatnot like that. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember to leave a comment in the box below. So while Kira is reading this, you know, instead of us being beta testers, they can uh, listen to us and make improvements, you know, on all of the new products. Because once again, all of Wakira's new release product always have a few problems that a lot of people tend to get disappointed. So if Wakira wants to go the right direction this time, or maybe just, you know, improve it a little bit better before they release this model. Uh, please listen or please improve on some of the stuff that I suggested in the video. And also by reading the boxes, the comments below of all the viewers who will be uh, posting, you know, what they like about it, what they don't. So instead of posting out a beta product, you know, instead of producing a beta product, make it a product that's actually been improved and that everybody will enjoy and have fun. So that's pretty much it. Talking way too much once again, repeating myself over and over. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.